Happy Friday! It's Bat Ball Girl, and you know what Fridays mean. We're in the kitchen making something protein packed to carry us through the weekend. We're gonna need something with all this college football happening this weekend. So excited for football season. Comment down below who you are rooting for this year. I got my Spartans, so go green. Uh, but anyways, to kind of bring in fall, I thought no-bake apple pie bars would be the perfect recipe. And this is not my own recipe. This is by Armin at The Big Man's World. So I will post a link in the description below to his website so you can check out this recipe if it looks good. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and a subscribe. I know my channel is new. I got lots of ideas up here and can't wait to share them all with you. So I'd be honored if you join me for the ride. All right, let's get cooking. For these no-bake apple pie protein bars, we will be needing one cup of coconut flour, half a cup of almond flour, half a cup protein powder of your choice, and I'll be using Unico's salted caramel flavor. I think that'll go nice with the apple flavor. Uh, two tablespoons of a granulated sweetener of choice, and I'll be using Truvia. We also need one tablespoon of cinnamon. And then the recipe calls for one teaspoon of mixed spice but my grocery store didn't have that, not ready for fall. So I'll just be using more of the one teaspoon of nutmeg that they call for. You also need a quarter cup of almond butter, but you can sub for any nut or seed butter of your choice. And I'll be using a all natural peanut butter. And then the recipe says half a cup of keto maple syrup. I don't have any of that, so I'm doing the sub for maple syrup in the paleo version. There we go, Wisconsin pure maple syrup. And we're also going to need half a cup of unsweetened applesauce. And finally, to round out our ingredients, milk of your choice, and that will be almond milk. So we've got our large bowl ready for the dry ingredients. First in is that cup of coconut flour followed by half a cup of the almond flour. Then I'm going to add my half a cup of protein powder and I ended up adding a little bit of vanilla protein powder as well because the packet of salted caramel didn't quite make half a cup. And then in this bowl I have my Truvia cinnamon and a tad bit extra nutmeg. And we're going to mix that up. So now we're going to grab a microwave safe bowl because we're going to add our quarter cup of nut butter and like I said earlier I'm using peanut butter, Get every last drop in there, there we go. And then in the directions it says add your liquid sweetener which I assume means the maple syrup. So into that bowl it goes and then we are going to pop this into the microwave to soften up that peanut butter so we can stir it around. And this is what it looks like after 50 seconds in the microwave. It was pretty warm, probably could have done it for a few seconds shorter, but not quite smooth yet. So just gonna whisk it up a bit and get some of those chunks out and make this look a little more cohesive. And then I added the applesauce a little early. You're actually, the directions say to add the maple peanut butter mix to the dry ingredients, mix it around, and then add your applesauce, but it's okay. It's all going to the same place anyways. The time has come for us to combine our peanut butter, maple syrup, and applesauce with our dry ingredients. Uh, shout out to any Star Wars fans. I'm using my Darth Vader spatula to make sure all that goodness gets out of that bowl and into the big bowl. So we are going to give this a good mix and the directions say 
that the batter should be crumbly when it's all mixed and done. Uh, by the way, this smells amazing. I can smell the cinnamon and nutmeg already and I cannot wait to try these. So this is the almond milk's time to shine. The recipe says to add um, the milk of choice one spoonful at a time until thick firm batter is formed. And while the recipe only called for one tablespoon of milk, I ended up adding three just because it was not a thick formed batter. So now we're going to take that and add it to our pan. And I have a 9x9 nine nine, uh, pan prepared here with some parchment paper and Pam. The recipe doesn't specify what size pan to use. And judging by the pictures, I should have maybe used a smaller pan to get a little bit thicker bars because mine came out pretty thin. But, I mean, they still tasted fine. So get that batter all spread out. I ended up having to use my hands and then because it didn't want to eat fingerprints, I smoothed it out with the spatula. And now into the fridge it goes. It sells up to 30 minutes. And there she be. Hello, apple pie protein bars. has come to finally try these. So these have probably been in the fridge for almost two hours. I was cleaning up, making dinner, and I nuked the heck out of that maple syrup. Um, so it needed a little extra time to cool anyways. And you probably see that there's only two here. I let my husband try one before he left to go see a movie, but I am super stoked to try these. So let's do it. Wow, those are really good. Um, probably took a little bit of a big bite. They're a little soft. Um, they fill up your mouth quite a bit, but that's really good. Um, despite there being peanut butter in it, it's really not overpowering at all. Just a slight undertone of peanut butter. So I was a little scared that you know, me using peanut butter instead of like almond butter become peanut butter pie bar instead of apple pie bar, but not the case. Uh, that cinnamon and nutmeg really bring those nice fall flavors and spices through. And I definitely have to make this again with all spice. And this, I got 12 bars out of this. And as you can see, I finished it with some sugar-free caramel and salt, but honestly, these probably don't even need that. If you wanted to dress it up, you could, but Wow, they're soft, flavorful, a nice sweetness to them. These are really good, guys. You have to go check out Armand's website, um, A Man's World. I mean, I just stumbled across it today. And there are a treasure trove of really good looking recipes from normal foods to desserts. So I'm definitely going to be making more on this channel, but these... I'm telling you, it would be a great mid-afternoon work snack or a little dessert treat at the end of the day. I mean, mm, good flavor, good, good everything. So uh, what are you waiting for? Go make these. See ya.